Hey, little bit. This is Purge, bringing you a first-person gameplay commentary. I'm gonna be playing the new hero. It is Obsidian Destroyer, and uh, we'll see how well I can perform. This is the second time I played him today. He's actually a really, really awesome hero. Someone I used to play um, in Dota One a whole crap load. So. I take wing. Um, okay. Okay. Stolen maiden bus. Alright, he is a intelligence hard carry. If you guys aren't that familiar with him, um, he has a couple interesting abilities. His arcane orb does damage percentage, or based on how much mana he has. Costs a lot of mana. Um, this banishes people and steals intelligence if it's on the enemy team and gives the intelligence to me for a temporary period of time. And uh, on the bot lane, we have, or the last third ability is Essence Aura. Um, Essence Aura is really good. Um, it basically gives me an aura that when I cast spells, sometimes it regens or re like gives me a bunch of mana. And this also applies to my allies as well, so there's some interesting combos you can do with this. His ulti does a bunch of damage based on how much uh, intelligence I have more than the enemy team. And these all kind of go together to make a pretty good uh, pretty good combo. So, um, OD is actually one of the few hard carries that actually end up uh, being pretty useful as a solo hero. They're actually a very strong solo hero. In addition, oh, I messed up that block. There is a strong solo here. In addition to the fact that he uh, is a hard carry, and that's not very normal. And it looks like I'm gonna be against a pudge here, which should be pretty good for me, as long as I don't get hooked. And even if I do get hooked, I should be okay. Oops. Yes. Missed my last hits on the clicking. Should just say a little bit of a mistake. Couldn't actually see the creep there, so I was just kind of guessing. that last hit. And I missed that last hit. <laughs> Alright, so generally in terms of skill build, I'm gonna wanna get four staff this game most likely. In addition to a four staff, um, I want to pick up some int, general int items. Things like power treads and uh, null talismans are really good. This guy's being a dick and denying my shit. Okay, I totally clicked there, but it did not go. It's always hard to get those last, uh, those few last hits there. It's like this Pudge actually didn't, uh, hasn't picked up, uh, any, not much regen. He just has a single salve, I think. He's gonna let me hit him. Oh, sorry, he has two salves. Which is not that bad when you're soloing. I mostly just don't want to get hooked here. Uh, his armor level is actually pretty low, so I should be pretty happy. I might start casting on him. Let's do it. So I'm going to banish him. That's going to lose him 4 intelligence. Now his mana pool is lower. My mana pool is higher. My base damage is higher. This works out really good against intelligence heroes because then you can uh, get a bunch of bonus damage. So apparently... This bud is actually pretty good at denying, so... And he's doing a good job with that, which is really frustrating. So I only have wow, I only have four last hits. That's pretty bad. Yes. And more la hard to get last hits. Uh, Orange is Viper. Looks like he is possibly ganking. Look at that. He pulls all my creeps past. See, that just screws me up a lot. All right, these are gonna come past the tower now. In flight. He should be soloing, not ganking. Well, I guess there's a wind runner, but. I am a last hitting pro, am I right? Oh my god, this is like a really bad last hitting game. This is way worse than normal. Some of that is just the creeps, man. The tower... First of all, Pudge has good base damage, and something I should be doing is this. So I can still get last hits. Just some, like uh, banish him as I want to get a last hit. It's kind of one little lane control thing that you get out of it. He was kind of thinking about doing a hook there, but I'm um, not going to get it. Oops, we got that one. Denied. I do have a pretty good base damage, so let's get gonna banish him and get one hit in. Just try to keep his HP low. The downside to spamming the banish a lot is that uh, I'm more likely to not have banish when uh, he ends up getting a hook off, if and when that time happens. Let me get another aura. First love, last morning. This train, jeez. I 
God, my last city is feeling so bad. Is get a fast. On dark wings. Can anyone upgrade courier? Foul now, one portents. thing you don't want to do is when somebody pops something like a Lucarity Potion, you actually do not want to banish them, because it's going to lower down their intelligence levels yes. by quite a bit. And uh, especially on a Pudge who doesn't have much mana in the first place, it's like uh, tread switching pretty much. that I should have, but I do not. Man, seriously, it's a rough last sitting day. From the world on the rim. Path of destruction. Yes. Where was he? Did not actually see him. See bottom. Alright, so this is my time to kind of push this lane and get as much farm as possible. Despite me having absolute shit so far. Because I apparently suck really bad at last city. So if Pudge is in our jungle, that means he might come out of the jungle and come for a gank on me. Definitely a possibility, so I have to kind of keep my eye on the map here and see if see when he's coming. I bring bad news. <laughs> Looks like he made it. Good job for him. That is orange. That is pretty sure to be getting some good last hit. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Darkness at 14 now. I'm not doing too bad. And I actually stopped Dragonite from doing a lot. A pudge with a invisibility or an illusion. So I know that's not the real one. He's still on my side, I think. I take wing. I'm pretty sure that's the real one. Yes. Yes. Yeah, he's mid. In flight. Crap. Ugh. Oh my god. <sighs> Man, days like this, not good. We got a shackle shot in. I can't believe I'm missing 80,000 fucking last hits. This is so bad. Ill omens. Should be pretty careful when I can't see up hills, the problem. I have to worry about Pudge. On dark wings. So even ones like that are getting really bad. Darkness so I'll bring me some treads. Advances. 743, not a whole bunch I can do at the moment. My mana pool is pretty full as well. He hasn't really allowed me to banish, which is something good, but I should have way more farm than this. Yes. The fact that I've only gotten so many last hits is pretty terrible. Alright, so I'm going to pick up one orb here. He's got 23 mana. I'm going to start spamming a little bit. I might even pick up a third level of uh, Astral since I have one orb now. Another banish, yes. gonna lower his mana down. He won't be able to do a hook dismember combo now, which is pretty nice. Yes. We don't have any wards yes. up currently. Which is a little scary, but and I'm sitting on strength treads right now, guys, just because I know that if I get hooked, it's gonna be uh iffy if I can survive in the first place, so I wanna make sure that uh I will have good HP. And once again, losing another creep there. 
How do I miss these? I'm, I'm getting really flustered now. Well, not flustered, but like, confused. I really don't think I'm last being that bad, I don't know, it's like... Just most of these budgets missing. Your top tower is under attack. Yes. Radiant structures are fortified. The blood sun rises. My ult is going down. Your top tower has fallen. Thanks. Worse things waiting. Darkness advances. God, my last been so fucking terrible this game. Wing. Keep moving, because Pudge could be coming. Alright, so the tower is the just about deniable. I'm gonna be careful. Now this game, do I want... This is probably a really good time to back up. Yes. I feel like I need to get a bracer, but it's hard to say. No talisman's gonna give me the most offensive potential, but I really can't be aggressive. Okay, there we go. Yes. God damn it. The creep misses. The creep misses. And I lose. Alright, so I'm gonna pick up a third banish level so I can really drain his mana here. See if he gives me another opportunity. Alright, I'm gonna switch to intreds because I might want to be aggressive in a second here. He just... I'm gonna assume somebody is here. That's not a very good yes. place. If you want to defend me, you can place uh, wards more mid. Like right there. Put the one up on that little corner by the uh, ancients. So now I can use my orb to last hit everything because I'm poor about last hitting. Which is wonderful. Not gonna get that one. That was pretty much impossible to get as soon as. Uh, yeah. I bet he missed it. There we go. Okay, um, I'm gonna get a four staff next, I think. They have pretty nasty heroes, honestly. I'm not looking forward to, um, this uh, void, to be honest. I might even, I might even need to get a mech again, like the previous game. Still haven't op had an opportunity to ult yet, which is frustrating, but, and, you know, missing, like, every last hit in existence never helps. Alright, so that'll give me a null talisman, that'll start towards my force staff. Switch back into strength treads, because I don't want to die. And then I miss all the last hits. Alright, that's it, I'm using orb on everything. He's gonna enchant. From the world on the rim. I do not want to chase that shit. In flight. On dark wings. What's everybody flashing for? What's going on? Darkness advances. Dude, I don't know what that means. There's guys there. Either or. Ill omens. My farm is so fucking bad. This is actually really dangerous. Blasting on the high ground with no vision. Pudge could be like right there. Alright, they're fighting in mid, so I'm gonna take this tower now. Hopefully I can get the last hit. There we go. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. I'm gonna get screwed here on bot. Last warning. 
wish I had a TP scroll, but I don't. This is really bad. Oh, got that kill. The Harbinger comes. Regeneration. Really wish I had a TP scroll there. Yes. Go for it. pretty lucky that I haven't actually had to uh, get any use any regen up quite yet. The blood sun rises. This is bad. Oh, I got my ulti off. Could have been earlier though. That was uh, a good TP by Pudge. Kind of a weird dive from us. I don't know if that was very smart. Oh, that was close to a double kill. Let's see how much damage I took. Infernal just did a little bit. Fatal Bonds. Just a nice smattering of a lot of things. Radiant structures are fortified. That looks bad. Yeah, she's dead. Where are you going? Yeah. That's rough. The mark. <laughs> Your well, bottom tower has fallen. This could be going much better. Wish I had my force stuff there. I'm very squishy right now, as you guys can see, I only have a thousand HP. If if a void actually ulted me in one of those, it'd be really rough. But we can defend bottom. It's not the end of the world. We have a, I took a mid tower at least. And we also have a life stealer, so we I guess we probably technically have a little bit more carry potential than me. He is gonna get nailed. Can't believe he didn't run in there. Dude, run in the trees, it's not that hard. Alright, so I only have one orb though. Downside. And there's a hero that I cannot kill. I'm gonna swing back mid. Fair warning. From the world on the rim. Alright, so this is gonna go up by 50% as I get it up to level 4, and at this point I'm more pretty much just uh, concerned about getting tanky as shit. I don't know what Tony is doing, but Tony, get out of here, man. My farm is more important than yours. Also, he picks up a fast void stone, which isn't a very good item build. Um, it doesn't really do a whole lot. Um, so that wave's gonna push out. Now we can't farm it. <laughs> Back on up. Looks like there's a warlock. I forgot about the fact that Odie actually counters warlock pretty well. He does bonus damage to summon units and. Um, Warlock's ulti is definitely a summoned unit. I'm gonna go see if I can the do blood sun rises. I bring bad news. I have to be pretty careful here. My HP is getting better, but uh in face this void has like something is some bad item build or something, but well he's gonna get damage comes. items after this point, you know. It's just gonna get scarier. He, he already has the Mask of Madness, so he's going to do a lot of damage, but if we can catch him, if I'm on the outside or something, if I'm careful not to be too aggressive, it could be huge for us in a team fight because then I can just banish whoever he's attacking. Oops, I did not mean to throw that attack. It was Dark Green, so Overlock. Wait, no, there's a bunch top. Yes. Once again, Pro Last Hitting. I think we can take those two on top. This is dangerous. Watch, I'm gonna do it. Last okay. warning. They did just force a lot of TPs there. Let's push the tower. 
I think we can do this. They're gonna try to take mid, I think. Maybe we should defend. So as you can see, I hit like crazy, man. I can't believe uh, if Pudge would have gotten that hook on me, it would have been like completely different, honestly. What about me? Basher's so bad. Is that really what he has? You want Basher first? Seriously? This is not worth me letting him take the farm. If I get a if I get a freaking uh, sheep up, dude, yes. I can outlast the shit out of him too. Is the best part. That sucks. He's gonna die. Oh, the wards were placed on the top, unfortunately. So I got picked off. That's sad. Tried to banish, but it wasn't fast enough here. Unfortunately. God, we have too many semi-carries. Look at this. And he's letting mid take damage. Little stuff like that is a pretty big mess up. I think he will be able to deny the tower at least, but... Okay. I have my ultimate orb now. So now I'm really buffing on my intelligence by quite a bit. If you guys are wondering why I didn't ulti in that last team fight, I didn't really feel like there was a good opportunity. I probably should have done it before I banished a Dragonite. Just like burst it down and start attacking, but... Just didn't uh, didn't go with it for some reason. I'm gonna swing towards the bot lane now, going for a push. Luckily, this guy has his basher, which is really good. I'm really glad I let him take the farm. Path of destruction. You go first, basher nakes. Yeah. So bad. And he has phase boots, so then he doesn't even attack fast. <laughs> Right. We're gonna be able to get these guys, I think. Yeah, okay, okay. I bring back. Yes. So all these other guys should be much more aggressive than me. Pretty much is what should be happening. Your top tower is under attack. Push two, push the two. Enemy's bottom tower has fallen. Your top tower is under attack. So that worked out. Darkness advances. Wow, that was close, holy shit. 
No! I knew Viper would mess it up. I knew it. Say, his ulti is really good. When you have a lot more intelligence than them, you can hit really hard with it. Now I pretty much just don't ever run out of mana. It's really nice to be able to two-shot yes. Warlock ulti, seriously. If you guys, once again, I didn't explain that very well, but... He gets bonus damage based on illusion. If they're, or if they're a summoned unit. So like Eidolons, Warlock ulti, stuff like that. So I can just hit him so hard. It gets ridiculous. We need wards up, please. See, this is dangerous. We can't even be in our own jungle because we have to worry about getting ganked. Well, we have no wards on Roshan and we need some, please. And just so we know if they're coming in our jungle. I don't have enough to buy them right now. Did he survive? Oh, he just bought his Yules, that's why. Darkness advances. Now if I really control this wave here, what I can do is just farm it for a really long time until I get my sheep stick, which should be very smart. Nice, they're all doing a smoke gank. It's nice to just have them. Oh, dude, I got farm to do. If I get a sheep stick, you know, this game's pretty much over against the void. I might actually just uh, clear this right now and go mid instead, and then go mid. Be careful about the, uh, the orb, it's not quite bad. This is why we need wards up. Please get some wards up. Ugh, god. I have like free farm on a nice lane and I get, and I get ganked because we don't have a single ward up on their jungle. Not on our jungle. A single ward. Like, I'm the one hero that needs to stay alive and I was getting close to Mystic Staff and then I get killed. Ganked by like... Lunch of shit, a bunch of heroes with absolutely shit items. It's so frustrating. Still dead for 25 seconds. Gosh. God, I hate getting ganked like that when we have no wards up. It's so frustrating. Like, I'm the hero that just needs to stay alive, and we don't have any wards up. So much farm to be had, and I get killed. He's attacking so slow. I return with dark things in my wake. You need to get an AC or something. Your basher is not doing shit because you don't attack fast. says heart. I'm gonna get a heart. It's like Darkness dude you just advances. You guys wanna smoke get the smoke gang goes too long on top. Not so winded now. Yes. I think all of us should go from the world on the probably wind. more similar about it. Invisible or something. Yes. Yes. What? They must have a sentry up. Path 
Or maybe they weren't there. It's weird, everybody. But I have my sheep stick now, so I can pretty much rock face really hard. Destruction. Let's take mid tower. Or Roshan, yeah, yeah, yeah. I bring bad news. This okay. Roshan has fallen to All right, we can push now. In flight. All right. Obviously, would have been a stronger choice for that item. Yeah, obviously, for sure. I have destruction. All right, we should back up. So this is kind of what you're supposed to do as a hard carry. You're, if, assuming you're the only one, this isn't something that normally happens in pubs, but you should be able to pretty much go between lanes, pretty much, and say like, oh, well, there's a lot of farm top, or there's a huge wave bottom, I'm gonna go bottom. And then you teleport bottom, you clear that creep wave, and you clear another creep wave. This is something that we don't see as much in high-level games anymore, because uh, Anti-Mage is so popular that it's pretty much all about jungle farming now, kind of. And that shit does not help. Tony, you realize you just cost me last hits, right? Are you trying to troll me, or are you just, like, not thinking? Well, you shouldn't do that shit, man. If you want me to win, like... I think we should four rush and smoke again. No, we can push with five wave ages. Let's take some towers. Take a team fight in towers. All right, my main sheep target is going to be um, Void. If I can sheep Void and then we can kill him, it's gonna be huge. I bring dark tidings. It's blue. See if we can dick around top a little bit. Dark auspices. Try to spread out for uh, um, Void. Bottom tower has fallen. Your middle tower is No, don't give me that shit. Oh yeah. I almost forgot. <laughs> oh, I was like, I can't close. That's so bad. I can't believe I almost messed it up. Careful. Like this lot made. Yes. Looks like Enchantress may have rage quit. From the world on the rim. Um. Yes. My ulti is gonna start one-shotting people. I think I can. I might be able to one-shot Void with my ulti. It's all about having a uh, an intelligence advantage. All right, five man push mid. Let's take a Rex. I bring bad news. Once you get this this far ahead on stuff, two shot that. Is 
gonna kill me. Oh my god. My sheep is on cooldown. My bad. Oh, don't do this to me. No! No, my god. <laughs> they all rage quit. They rage quit. Waited for Enchant to abandon and they left because they know the game was over. That sucks. And god. I didn't even get to have a final battle. Well, shit. Oh well. I, I should have banished the Warlock. I thought I was going to get Vision as soon as I forced Staff through. I thought I was just going to clear the trees and get an easy auto attack and that didn't happen, unfortunately. If you guys were wondering what I'm going to use this Mystic Staff for, it would have been a Shiva, so... I think I'm just going to try to push and try to end the game to get this over quick, see if anybody fights me. No kidding, I'm sad they all left. Oh. oh my god, they all left. Wow. That sucks. Last, my existence has meaning. That sucks so bad. That sucks so bad. <laughs> uh, man. Alright, cool. So, uh, that's how you play OD. The game was pretty much in the ridiculous point. Uh, my gold brand was pretty high. My last hits in the early lane sucked horribly, but I played okay. Pudge left. I got a lot of experience, and then I got a lot of early kills in those early team fights, which made a big difference. I was about to get a Shiva, so I was going to be really survivable, and from there you can get it like a Necro 3 or an Aghanims or something. Weird like that, but that is really sad, man. What a uh, what a rough loss there, so or a rough uh, not win, I guess. I was hoping for like a big ulti in a team fight to be awesome. I mean, you saw some of that, but whatever. All right, there's an OD game. Uh, sorry that was anticlimactic. I had no control over that, unfortunately. I could have played better, but I haven't played OD in probably like seven or eight months, something ridiculous. So other than today, so with a little practice, I'll get some better games out to you guys. And I'm gonna make one for Dota Cinema as well. So um, if this one does not suit your fancy, I'll make one for Dota Cinema. Um, next by next Wednesday. So thanks for watching on YouTube, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.